Bradley's on-site portable gravity-fed eyewash is the ideal safety solution when a plumbed water supply is unavailable in your facility. In below freezing conditions, your unit will require a heater jacket. Bradley recommends installing the eyewash with our on-site waste cart sold separately. The cart ensures the eyewash is mounted at the right height, has a large 56-gallon capacity to collect water during testing and use, and it makes the eyewash portable, making it easy to relocate as hazards change in your facility. To begin installation, take the pedestal and place it on top of the cart. Attach the drain tube to the bottom of the pedestal with the clamp. Insert the tube from the drain hole at the bottom of the pedestal through the hole in the back of the heater jacket. Feed the tube into the hole on the cart that is closest to the back of the eyewash unit. Pour clean, potable, tepid water into the tank until it is one half to one third full. Next, add water preservative solution if desired. The preservative extends the life of the water in the tank, but is not included. Follow manufacturer's instructions on when to change out the water if you are using a preservative. Continue to add water past the required fill line. The extra water will be dispensed during testing. Insert one liner into the cap with the hole and attach to the top of the tank. You are now ready to mount the tank on the pedestal. The tank weighs 60 pounds when filled with water, so assistance from another individual is required. Mishandling the tank can lead to small hairline cracks that may not be noticeable right away, but over time the cracks will expand causing the tank to leak. Invert the tank and place it straight down on the pedestal to minimize spillage. The pierce on the pedestal will puncture a hole in the cap liner and allow the water to flow. Minor spillage may occur. Secure the tank to the pedestal using the side clamps. Make sure the latches are pulled down tight. Next, lower the arm and activate the water flow long enough so you can see air bubbles moving through the tank. Raise the arm and snap the eyewash back into position. This step burps the unit and balances water pressure in the system, preventing any leakage. Repeat the burping process again should you notice any water weeping from the snorkel. Run the junction box around the unit. Insert the five pin connector from the tank heater assembly into the mating socket on the junction box and screw tight. Run the power cord down the back and out through the Velcro opening at the bottom. Pull the heater jacket up around the tank and place the junction box into the clear pocket. Move cables and cords clear of the eyewash and slide the eyewash arm into the pocket of the jacket flap. Velcro the eyewash into place. You are now ready to plug the unit in. To document weekly inspections per the ANSI standard, attach the inspection tag and hang the safety sign in a visible spot near the unit using the hook and loop fasteners provided. The eyewash is now ready for use. The junction box has three light indicators. The green light indicates the unit has power. The amber light indicates the heater is in operation and heating the unit. The light will be on only while the heater is operating. The red light indicates the thermostat needs to be reset. To reset the thermostat, remove the top of the heater jacket and press the reset button. Check and make sure the red light is off and that the green light is on. The amber light will only be on if the heater is operating. If the red light is still on, press the reset button again.